project, we will be modeling the sanitary pipes of a restroom space. The things we have to begin with are the CAD plan for the restroom, as well as the architectural and structural files for the project. Now we're going to be using these files and start modeling. So in the first step, we have to open the right template. I'm going to go and click on New, and then from the window that appears, I click on the Browse button, and then go to the English folder, and then look through the templates, then select Mechanical Default Metric and open it. After that, we need to make sure that Project is selected here, and then click OK and wait for the uh, modeling space to load. Now that this area has been loaded, we're going to link the architecture file into Revit so we can have it right in front of us. So I'm going to go up to the Insert tab and then click on Link Revit. Then we're going to go to where our files are located, to the project. Then we're going to go in the WC Project folder, which is for the restroom, and then Revit folder, and then Arc and Structure. Now you're going to have to look through all of these files and select the one that is compatible with your version. Architectural and structural revits have been modeled into one single file for this project. I'm going to select this one, then click Open. And now I'm going to have to open one of the elevations and align the levels of the template which we've opened with the levels of this architectural file which we've just linked into Revit. Remember that it makes no difference which one of the elevations you open. For example, I'm going to select this one, East. I'm going to double click to open this East Mechanical View. Now, if I move my mouse around here, I can find the levels which were in the template file. I'm going to click on one of them. Then I'm going to take this circle next to its header and I'm going to drag it. And then move these levels out of this architectural area just so I can see them better and be able to figure out their elevations. So currently we have a level 1 at elevation 0, as well as a level 2 at elevation 4000. The FFL of the architectural file, FFL standing for finish floor level, is at elevation 250 millimeters, and the elevation of the FFL level 2 is 4250. And you know that our bases for modeling are actually the FFLs. One thing I can do here is I could use the align command so I can align the uh, levels of the template with the levels of the architectural file which we've linked earlier. So I'm going to go up to the modify tab and then select the align command. Or I could just use a shortcut instead. If you recall, it was AL. Our basis is going to be FFL level 1, so I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to want this level 1 of the template to be aligned with it. So click. And then I'm going to click on FFL level 2. And then click on level 2 from the template so that they become aligned. Once we do that, as you can see, the elevations of the levels of template will change and become the same thing as the ones in architecture. Now I press escape to cancel align. Now I can double click on this level 1 to select it. So I can change its name and make it the same thing as the one in architecture. As in, I'm going to type in FFL, then press enter. Now this level has the same name as the level in architecture file. Now the same thing for level 2, double click, and then type in an FFL before it, then press enter. So now we've aligned and coordinated the levels of the template with the levels in the architecture file, and now they're all the same. Now this architectural file has some other levels as well, most important of which is the level 1 which we were focusing on. As in, I would want to draw the sanitary pipes of level 2 right in the ceiling of the level 1. Now I'm going to go back to one of the plans. For example, I'm going to double click on plumbing to open it. So what I need to do now is I'm going to have to take the grids from the architectural file and copy them into the structure file. So that in case, for whatever reason, the architectural file was deleted or even hidden, I would still be able to have the grids in my structure file. So to do that, I'm just going to go up to the Collaborate tab and then find and select Copy Monitor because this is the command we're going to be using. 
this copy monitor command doesn't just simply copy things. It's not just copy, it's called copy monitor, meaning that it copies an item from a file, and when it's finished copying, it still tracks the item and monitors it, meaning that if any changes happen to that item in the other file, we would be notified here. So I'm going to click on copy monitor, and after that, I'm going to select the one that says select link. Because, you know, we are trying to copy the grids from a link into this file. So, select link. Now, which link? We're going to have to click on it. As you can see, if I move the mouse on this architecture, the file will become highlighted. Now, once I click on the link, it would be selected, and a new tab under the name Copy Monitor will be added up here. Now, in this tab, we're going to click on Copy. We're going to copy an item. What do we want to copy? Because we don't have many grids, we can just click on every single one of them to select and copy them into the structural file. Once it copied the first grid, the software gave us a warning saying that this header, which we've just copied, has the same name of an element in the template file. So then, to avoid any conflicts between these elements, it had to add a one in front of its name. That's totally fine. So we're going to click on the next one, and the next one, and the other one. Once we've selected all of the grids, we're going to go up here and click on this green check mark or finish to confirm copying the grids.